What's up YouTube, this is Print Practical. Recently, I took a look at myself. I'm getting fat. Inflation, it's at an all time high. I wanna get some gym equipment for my house, for my home gym, and I'm looking at the prices on Facebook Marketplace. What the heck, this crap's expensive. So I'm gonna try and come up with a cheaper solution for a home gym using my 3D printer. Let's do it. Boom, $15, I got this sweet bench. It's pretty much brand new. Got it on Facebook Marketplace. The guy was super jacked. He lifted it into my truck for me. I mean, I didn't even have to work out to get this thing. It's missing a plastic foot. I don't care. I'm gonna 3D print one. Not in this video, but now I need the actual main part of my home gym, the weights. So let's figure out how we're gonna use our 3D printer to make that happen. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, picked up some dumbbell handles on Amazon. These bad boys were like $10. We're at a total of $25. So we have the bench, we have the handles, but now we need weights. Obviously I can't 3D print weights, but what I can do is 3D print a mold that I could pour some heavier material into to make weights. My plan is I'm gonna use some Quickcrete from Lowe's because I have some sitting around and it costs me nothing. I went on Fusion and I designed a mold that I think will make a decent looking weight. And it's pretty cool because I can use Fusion to calculate the internal volume of my mold and then I found a concrete weight calculator online that takes in cubic inches and that gives me an estimate of how much weight the mold could potentially hold in concrete. Who knows if this is accurate or not? We'll find out. My goal is to end up with dumbbells of two different weights. I need one dumbbell that is 15 pounds for some exercises like curls and then I want another set of dumbbells that are at least 40 pounds for benching and some other exercises. Well, that was a disaster. It started pouring when I was pouring the concrete and the ratios weren't right. I didn't have the right tools. So anyway, this one's still super wet. As you can see, this one is setting a little more. sit for about three weeks and it's totally hardened which is good uh, as you can see the blue plastic is just breaking right off of the concrete i was planning on using that as kind of a protective layer for the concrete but obviously it's not that strong so i am going to uh, use some truck bed liner that i got Another few days have passed and today is weigh-in day. This is the last day. Everything is done. So let's weigh our dumbbells and see what the final weights came out to. 15.5, 38.9, 39.4. All right, let's see how weak I am. Thank you. 
Well, I learned that I am super weak, but hopefully this stuff will change that. Let's talk about the total cost of everything that I spent. I spent $15 on the bench. I spent $10 on the handles, $18-ish on filament, and $5 on concrete, even though I had it around my house, and about $10 on the truck bed liner for the bigger weights. I think that I spent about an hour designing it, maybe two hours mixing and pouring concrete, and another hour spraying the truck bed liner. Anyway, uh, if you're watching at this point, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave some comments down below about how weak I am, and if you have any ideas for any future videos, let me know. Like the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.